Good morning, everyone. My esteemed colleague, Mr. Anurag Srivastav, Joint Secretary in the Ministry of INB and in charge of the social media cell. Additional Secretary, Mr. J.S. Mathur. All our respected Joint Secretaries, colleagues who have arrived from various ministries, my ministerial colleagues and friends. It's a matter of great privilege and pride to be present here amongst all of you to have this first session of the social media interaction with Ministry of INB. You are aware that this was an issue which was first touched upon by Honorable Prime Minister to bring all ministries and departments together on the social media platform. In this regard, I think we had already written to all the ministries and departments and also the chief secretaries of various state governments. This was followed by a letter from Honorable Minister for Information and Broadcasting to all the ministerial colleagues to join us on the social media platform. And I must say that we got a very encouraging response from all the ministries and departments. I think the interaction today will go a long way in bringing together the government closer to the citizens, <laughs> thus ensuring transparency and accountability in the system. The whole idea of this exercise is basically to connect with the masses. I think in our interactions of the secretaries with the Prime Minister, the main focus of discussion was how to connect with the masses. So communication strategies which are actually targeted at the masses and what the masses want from us is something which we no, no need to deliberate in this entire exercise. The Prime Minister's vision of less government, more governance, I think can certainly be achieved if we activate the social media effectively. The potential of social media platform is yet to be unleashed. In the days to come, I think we can make it as the most authentic source of instant information, communication with the respective ministries. The strengths of all ministries to come together on Twitter can only be imagined right now, but I think we need to realize it. And social media platform is the platform which will be used to realize this dream in a very short time. A few characteristics of the social media distinguish it from other communication media. Firstly, we are all aware that it is interactive. It enables everybody to publish and broadcast multimedia content on this platform. This interactivity is enabled in a real-time basis. There is no time gap between a person sending a news item and expressing his opinion on it which others can see it instantly. It also links networks of people which allow the information to go viral. It has an exponential growth in a sec in few seconds. It is a seamless, a seamlessly integrated into the mainstream and journalists now consider it as a vital source of leads, contents, trends, data and sources. Due to its characteristics, its constituents, and its contents, social media cannot be controlled, censored, or shut down. This has been the experience of governments around the world. Social media has to be understood, adopted very effectively uh, in, in all our uh, schemes. The government can look at understanding and adopting this as an additional yet unique media tool. It can be used for the purpose of outreach, engagement, and provision of better citizen services. I am given to understand that even in US, advanced countries like US, they have been using social media tool very effectively and extensively. The ideal result of effective social media usage is creating conversations with citizens that lead to collaborations, better delivery of services, and more effective governance. However, working with social media also presents its own share of challenges, as outlined below, which government around the world are learning to overcome. In this perspective, 
the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting had established the social media communication hub to address communication and dissemination requirements of the government. The communication hub would proactively pursue the engagement of the government through a social media policy and strategy aimed at focused and enhanced dissemination, image and perception management, which is very critical in today's context. A possible structure that could work is the multiple hub and spoke model, where the communication hub would work as the nodal center, whose coordinating division is leading the efforts of social media for the ministry with the corresponding coordinating divisions of all other ministries. Such a structure has the advantage of government focusing its initial effort on one nodal ministry, for example, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, who can then rapidly share the know-how with other ministries while not inhibiting other ministries from trying to carry out their own experiments. We are only providing a platform for the other ministries. They, can, they have their own websites. They can carry on their messages through their own websites, but it will be desirable if we can all join in our efforts and con conglomerate at one place so that all the messages can be disseminated very effectively and constructively. Based on the feedback received from the pilots, the com compendium which we are proposing to devise will be revised, expanded, and then handed over to the ministries for rollout in, in their own space. I take this opportunity to welcome all of you uh, once again for this uh, exercise. Even if there was a participation of 10 people, we would have still undergone this exercise because Cabinet Secretary himself is monitoring. And uh, the idea is that all of us realize what is the importance of social media today. All our policies, programs, our strategies, communication strategies can be devised effectively if we come to know what exactly are the people wanting to know. And what do the people want? For example, the budget. Now, all the tweets, the trends which have already emerged in this budgetary exercise have been captured in our trend analysis, which we are now preparing on a, a, a daily basis, which is twice a day that we prepare these trends. Because the news remains news only for about three to four hours. Then series of news items are emerging on a uh, every hour basis so that we capture that news uh, very effectively and disseminate uh, our content on it. So it's a great pleasure and pride to have all of you here together. I am sure you will have very uh, fruitful discussions in, and deliberations in this session. Mr. Anurag Shirvastav, who is our Joint Secretary, he has actually taken the lead in establishing this communication hub. We have a setup which is here. It's not manpower intensive, but it's a software intensive system here. And I'm sure that all of us will utilize this system very effectively and encouragingly. Thank you very much for joining us today here. Thank you. Jai Hind.